I'm incredibly grateful to uh, several keyboard manufacturers uh, for the products they've made over the last three or four decades that have enabled me to um, create the music with Duran Duran and with any other projects I've done. Uh, they are very special instruments, synthesizers, and each one has its own personality. Uh, I started off using probably more Roland keyboards than, than any other make, but I also used sequential circuits, Prophet 5, um, uh, some Yamaha keyboards, and some odd keyboards like the, uh, the Wasp, um, and then later the Elka Synthex, which I'm very fond of, uh, and Moog, of course, uh, which um, has been part of my battalion for, for many years. I particularly enjoyed using the, the Voyager synth. Um, more recently, in the last couple of albums, uh, I, I've used it um, extensively for percussion sounds and for bass synths and sometimes just for really beautiful noise. Although uh, each brand of keyboards I think does have a distinctive sound, I'm sure some of you realize that it varies very, very much from product to product and things have changed dramatically over the last few decades. Um, when I had my first early Roland synthesizers, I had a Roland System 100, which I in fact still own, uh, I used to take that on tour with us and so I would have to repatch all the wires and manually reset a lot of the knobs in between every song. Um, thankfully uh, things moved along so now we can click one button and, uh, and change an entire system. But uh, those synthesizers, those early analog synthesizers, still sound quite extraordinary. And, and for me, although I, I have embraced some digital synthesizers, I still favor using analog synthesizers on our studio work, particularly uh, on the uh, All You Need Is Now album. I, I used uh, many, many different synthesizers. Uh, a lot of the, the bigger, I guess, 80s polyphonic synths like um, the, the Memory Moog, Roland Jupiter 8, uh, the, the Sequential Circuits Prophet 5, the Elka Synthex. I even use the Arp Quadra um, on one of the tracks called Other People's Lives. Uh, they've all got very, very different sounds. And um, uh, when, when I was working with producer Mark Ronson, he, he uh, was fascinated by what each one did. And, uh, and we'd reach a point in a song when he'd say, don't you think we should try the Jupiter 8 on this? Or sounds like it needs a, a Moog bass line to me. And actually what he was saying made complete sense. He identified very quickly the elements in the sound and the properties that each one of these synths had. So they really are um, like my, um, my family. Uh, they, they live at the studio here, um, a lot of them. And uh, some sadly are in storage because there's so many now and we go and take them out and try different things. But I, I honestly feel that the richness of sound is so great with analog instruments or with analog keyboards still that I'm yet to find a digital keyboard that I favor. Most of the keyboards on the uh, All You Need Is Now album are analog, but there are a couple of exceptions. I did use a Roland uh, V-Synth, a GT V-Synth. There is one particular sound uh, that I modified a little from the, um, the V-Synth uh, and we used on the track. It's the lead synth sound on Leave a Light On. And I just started playing it and, and found something in the, in the quality of it that, that, that was really quite serene and beautiful and unlike other synths, it definitely didn't sound analog but I liked it nonetheless and, uh, and started playing this melody which became the basis for the song. And sometimes when you do that and you record something, uh, you think I'll replace it later. In my mind, I thought, well, I could probably do that on the Jupiter 8 actually. But then uh, 
the whole track was built around it. And somehow every time I took it out and tried to replace it, it just didn't work. So that, that sound really did remain um, and made it all the way to the final mix. What I did do was, uh, was actually use MIDI, which I, I don't use that often, but um, in this instance, I used MIDI and I went through some different analog sounds from, from other keyboards, particularly the Elka Synthex, to uh, play the same melody, but it gave the track a, a different kind of feeling in, in, in different verses and through the choruses because the melody actually uh, repeats pretty much through the whole song and I felt it was a little too much to keep that lovely digital sound for everything. So it is mixed in with analog sounds.